My name is Tim Furbo. I'm from paintballtech.com. I'm here with uh, Sweeney Gun. Matt Sweeney helped invent this gun for launching you know, capsules for movie props. It was uh, built in 1984. The original cost on one of these was $3,400 approximately. It runs on a low pressure air source right around 120 to 140 PSI directly into here with no regulation off of a uh, compressor. The air comes in through here, goes through your macro line tubing into your switch, which is right here on the bottom. This switch goes to a flow control valve, which runs a line all the way up to the front of the gun uh, to the tube here, where you would pull this cap off, load your, your special effects rounds, uh, recap it, and then to load the rounds into the gun, you have air pressure running that pushes them down in here, um, cycles them across this block with a pneumatic ram, and then into the barrel to be shot out this way. The other airline that you see here runs forward to the trigger frame block right here. This controls the firing. It's got a pneumatic clippered switch, you know. And then basically that runs your air from the main chamber down here into your regulator set and fire control uh, pneumatic piston that will control the rate of fire of the gun. Basically a more complicated flow control, which is just, you know, a screw in knob. The farther out it is, the faster the gun will cycle. The farther in it is, the slower the gun will cycle. It just shuts off the air that runs through your pneumatics. Also, the higher the pressure you run into the gun, the faster the gun will of the cycle. If you're running at below 100 PSI, it's going to cycle slower than it would if you're running at 120, 120 to 140 PSI. Uh, this can on the front here controls the velocity of the round, which at the highest velocity will send a ball bearing through a television screen. So be sure to chrono your Sweeney gun when you're going to play paintball with it because you don't want to break any lenses. So we have these super custom JT goggles here for safety's sake. Because again, ball bearing through television screen. And just running off a standard compressor line. Do a quick disconnect. Once the gun is set up, you there's basically no safety on it, so all you have to do is pull the trigger and it'll cycle. So there is a semi-automatic mode on this gun. Uh, basically, you have to turn your fire control knob all the way in, but when it's all the way in, it shuts off the air so dramatically that it'll only cycle one shot at a time, and then you have to unscrew it to let the air flow back into the marker. Works much better open, full. So basically you only get full auto that functions properly on this marker. To actually fire the marker, you would shoulder it like this with the wire stock in the back. Um, you know, point at whatever target it is. It's got uh, iron sights down the right hand side, which is the barrel. The other neat little thing is, on the top of the block here, this is where your pneumatic ram comes in, uh, that will load the shots from the, the left hand side tube into the right hand side tube for your barrel. We've got the pneumatic block that kicks every time to load the ball in place. I'm going to go ahead and de-air it, that way I can get these goggles off. There's your block. So, with the plate off, you can see it's got the four end posts that hold it all together so you can uh, cut.
cover the pneumatics on either end of the firing chamber. Uh, this is basically a clippered ram with two 90 degree fittings running low pressure tubing to it, or just compression fittings on it. And when the marker shoots, the paint gets fed in from this side into this block, which has a hollow you know, center to it. The ram pushes it over to this side, which presses down on this pneumatic actuator and we'll fire the, the round through the barrel, which is right in here. Go ahead and air up this marker with a low pressure crossfire tank running through a stabilizer. Turn this all the way down to zero and slowly bring it up to pressure. So you can see how the uh, the ram assembly on the top works a little bit there since the plate is still off. Now to get this marker running at optimum efficiency with a low pressure tank running through a regular air, running around 200 psi. Yeah, please don't try this at home with your, your own Sweeney gun that you all should have. Basically, and that's your uh, Sweeney gun in a nutshell. Uh, my name again is Tim Furpo from paintballtech.com. If you ever need basic marker uh, maintenance and repair, please give me an email. I'll be uh, willing to do whatever you need. Thank you.